I say no fish as part and the dolly. I forget to picture them. If it's one thing about Jamaica, crime and violence aside, it's nice. Hey guys, I'm Erin and welcome back to another video. So today we're we'll doing like a vloggy vlog once again. Per. So we're going to Jumbo. Negril! I've been there already, yes, but we're gonna go back because Negril is beautiful, the sunset beautiful. We're gonna go to Samsara Cliff Resort. It's like a boutique hotel. Alright guys, so now we're at Samsara Resort in the group. It's a cliffside boutique hotel and here's the room. So let's go. So, so you enter, there's a closet on the inside. You have extra pillows. And you have a safe in there as well. And of course, I'm going to clothes. So when you walk into the actual room itself, very tropical vibes. Let me show you. And the bed is big, very big bed. Um, paintings on the wall, and there's a huge mural. So yeah, the room itself is okay, not bad. There is a television right here. I haven't turned it on as yet, so I don't know what it, what it's giving. And the room is air condition of course so here we are you have the two night tables and let me carry you outside all right so oh this is so beautiful so outside now gorgeous So you can definitely see the sea. It's a very nice view. There's a pool right there. I don't know, that's a fountain. There's a pool beside the fountain. Um, and of course, the other rooms. Very beautiful property. Very green, lush, nice. But definitely loving the view. Can you imagine when the sun sits? Oh my gosh, beautiful. So yeah, so that's the room. I actually kind of like it. It's not bad. Um, it's giving a vibe. Not bad at all. <coughs> now for the bed check. How comfortable is it? <sighs> I don't know if I'm just tired, but this is actually very comfortable. <laughs> so just a little room tour. I'll show you guys more property later on, but yeah, I've been to Negril before, but I went to a different cliff resort. I went to Bagona Cliff Resort. And I actually prefer the rooms here in comparison to the ones at Bagona. The rooms here are bigger, even though it's in a small-ish room. The rooms here are bigger. Um, and the view, of course, is magnificent. All right, so this is day, day two at Samsara Resort, but it's my first full day. So I'm gonna try to vlog the whole day here. Like vlogging when I go places is kind of hard for me because I'm a very live in the moment type person. But we're gonna try and vlog with the whole day. So let's go! So I don't really have much plans. Like, it's even jungle vibes. Hold on. Yeah, so like I don't really have much plan today per se. Like the whole point of this trip for me was for me to just come here and relax and sleep, take a change of environment and enjoy the grill. Um, I didn't plan on leaving the hotel to go anywhere else in the grill. I really wasn't part of the plan. Um, so I'm gonna just stay here for the day and enjoy what the resort has to offer. I kind of just wake up for the face not facey, but you know we move.
the water is beautiful oh my god like when i walked out here my first impression was gorgeous like it's just gorgeous i am obsessed so let me talk to you guys about samsara so for samsara i actually came here using gustazos so it was during the end of my internship and i was like okay vibes what am i gonna do i'm also ready to go and then i saw um it's a little walkway oh oh wow i know down there is slippery though so i'm not, I'm not gonna go down there as yet because these prayer birds then i gotta slide and slip but we'll just have a seat out here and just talk Right, so I was talking about some Sarah and how I ended up here. <gasps> They're little crabbies! Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Where did they? Did it run from me? They run from me. Oh, okay. So, basically, for some Sarah, how I found out about here is I used Gustazos. So, as I said, I was looking for somewhere to go because I had an internship done at Nice Life Start. Basically, it was 300 and something US. I'll put the full um, the full cost in. But it was 300 and something US for, for three days, two nights. It was coming to me for three days, two nights. So that was it. And I was like, that's not bad. It's for two people. So that's not bad at all. So I was like, okay. Let me copy it. So my boyfriend and I started to come with copy something and here we are. So Samsara really is a boutique hotel in Negril. What was surprising to me with this boutique hotel is that it was all inclusive. That's what really sets it apart from the other Gustazos deals that they were having because there, there, there were more than one for Negril, but this one in particular, like it was what you call it all inclusive and normally these busy hotels it's not all inclusive normally it's like breakfast included or whatever when i thought the all inclusive i was like okay say less gonna say your girl kind of cheapy cheapy love say little money so i'm like okay say less there are something for two adults and you get a nice room food all the drinks inclusive say less <laughs> say less say less <laughs> So I ran and booked that thing because I'm like, okay. But yeah, it's all inclusive actually, and it's gorgeous. Room is nice, location is nice. Um, the food actually isn't bad. And yeah, like it's a good time. It really is a good time. We really have nothing to do today but legit lay down and watch TV, which I'm so excited for. I'm gonna try and go by the pool, take some pictures. I'm gonna say enough pictures spot and the dolly. I forget to picture them. Like I really am a good as a girly. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check this out once a week because what's keeping? You know, what's keeping? So yeah. But it's been so nice so far. I'm actually very I was really impressed at what's going on. But we'll see you and carry you guys to breakfast soon. It's very early right now. It's like maybe six o'clock. So I'm up pretty early. But um breakfast is at eight. How did how, how they do the all inclusive meals here basically is that you have breakfast from eight to ten, you have lunch from twelve to two, and then dinner is from seven to nine, I think. Um Yesterday when I came, they had a late lunch menu. I don't know if it's just because we came in at that time and I wanted to, and they wanted to give us food, or if it's an actual thing. I think it's an actual thing because they had actual late late lunch menu. It's like a actual printed out menu. I think it's an actual thing, but yeah. But there aren't like snacks and stuff available. Um. In between, I think you have to buy those. Um, apart from the all-inclusive items, actual all-inclusive menus, and they have things that are not all-inclusive. So if you want to go off the all-inclusive menu and buy like an actual other meal, you can do that as well. But as I said, your girl will not be doing that because don't spend money. 
Um, but yeah. That's my boyfriend, guys. Yeah, normally when I go out on trips, I normally I'm very all about the place. I've, I don't think I've ever gone on a trip and just like lay down. So this is very new to me, but I'm actually liking it. Yeah, I used to like judge all the people who used to go out and just lay down, but I kind of get it now. It won't be a normal thing, but I kind of get it. So, yeah. But it's going to be a very chill day. Can't wait to see you guys with me. sister property i think that's it over here um, i think that's it can you see and once you have your all inclusive band here or either way once you come here you can access that sister property One thing I love about waking up early is that nobody's around. You know, I'm not a very social person. Like, even though I love creating content and I want to be like huge on social media, like I'm not a very social person. You know, like I don't ever want to be around people. <laughs> um, normally stink of chlorine. But I'm gonna try and go in here today and try and go in the ocean but i kind of put on two swimsuits because i want two pictures i want two i want two different pictures so we're gonna do that but later on today like i'm walking through right now and i'm smelling the breakfast it smells so good this is literally my first walkthrough, so these are like my genuine reactions, and it's actually really nice. I don't, I don't know, where, I don't know where to go first. Like I'm just like a kid in a playground. Like oh my god, if there's one thing about Jamaica, cram a lot inside society. It nice. My officer does it nice. I understand. I get it. This is something man. Me. Ariane are coming at this. I have to get pictures in this pool. Like, I legit have to. Like, completely. Like, have to. Have to, have to, have to. Like, wow.
just so woke up from right now. <laughs> because as I said, life today is a very chill day. So it's like 10 o'clock right now. I had breakfast and I'm completely forgot to film most of it. So right now I'm going to put on some pretty clothes and take some pictures of the pool a little bit. But yeah. I basically forgot to vlog my whole entire day. Uh, I went to the pool though and it was really nice. I'm gonna go back this afternoon so hopefully I can catch it then. But right now I'm gonna go to the beach. Um hopefully it's not crowded. But yeah. And this swimsuit banging. <laughs> Guys, I'm now we're at the beach. Um, so once you go to Samsara, you have access to this beach. There's a bus that comes here. It leaves Samsara at 10 o'clock and it comes here. It wasn't a drove, but it's drove down. But here it is. Alright, so now we're at the pier. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright, so I just got from, just came from the beach, and guys, I don't know. But the first, like, somehow the water is warm. I've never come to the beach, and the water is actually warm. But it's actually warm and just nice, and the water is clear. And the sun just fine. This is what I'm on. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> like, absolutely love. It was so lovely. Alright guys, as I said, I spent the whole day just relaxing and laying down. Um, I'm going to go for dinner soon. The dinner is at 8 o'clock, which doesn't make any sense because literally lunch is from 12 to 2.30 and then dinner is from 8 to 10. And there's not like other food available within that time frame. So I was hungry this whole time and could not eat until 8 o'clock. Guys, we're going to dinner now. Um, it's seven something, but I'm so so hungry, like no, I'm hungry, bad. So hopefully, it's good food. The food I've had so far isn't bad, like not bad at all actually. It's just really really nice at night, I must say. Um, but yeah, I'm so hungry though, I'm so so hungry. And there's a place to dine out in the open, let me show you that lights as well. So that's pumpkin.
chicken rice, um, steamed fish, baked chicken, and garlic bread, and I got some soup as well. Thank you. I don't want a soup now. It's actually really good. Yeah, the food here is actually good. an amazing weekend like it was so relaxing and it was just so good the place is beautiful um but like I said it was really good last night I watched Sniper and then I just fell asleep and I slept and I woke up at like 5 little bit to go pee and I go back and sleep again until 8 o'clock and I'm awake cause like after 8 I know but I should go and breakfast I'm really hungry. Literally, I didn't, I didn't know face routine yesterday. And if it was one day, if it was one day I was supposed to do a face routine, it was yesterday. Because I spent the whole, I spent the whole, I spent the whole, I spent the whole day in the summer. Not the whole day, so I'm kind of relaxed enough. But I spent more than I would usually spend in the sun. So my face aged like 10 years because there was no sunscreen, there was no... As a skincare owner, I am very ashamed because of what happened. I like, I, I didn't know, I didn't know routine yesterday. Anyway, so today is it, I'm leaving. Unfortunately, I could have spent a lot more day here actually. Like it was really, really, really good. I really enjoyed myself. And I'm gonna do my face stuff, which my seat are not and get ready for the day and check out is at 12. I always see if I can leave at like 1 or 2 o'clock because I want to get lunch before I leave. Um, plus, when I came here, I never got the room until after 4 o'clock. So by the right, it must give me one more hour. So, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna ask if I am comfortable with that. It's actually pretty good. It's, I can probably it's really good. It's very flavorful. Something is nice, not too dry. And I also have like little cooking activities. They can play pool. I'm going to win, of course. But actually, I'm going to lose. I don't want to play. But yeah, let's go. Like a wash off. I don't know. How, I, don't, I don't know if I'm gonna go in the ocean again, but in the sea again. But um, we'll see. This is her. Representing our bodies out here. Check out is at 12 and <laughs> we went to the pool like minutes to 11 or like 10.30 so then I'm going to upbeat, pack and head up. Alright so now that I'm going to be leaving I'm going to do a full review right now. It won't be long because I've been talking as I've been going along. So for the weekend I stayed at some star hotel and to be honest it was way better than I had anticipated I won't lie. 
like normally before I go places, I look at the reviews from like bookings, Expedia, TikTok, like everywhere I can find Twitter. Um, and I normally look to see what the reviews are, and then I gauge my expectations based on that. And truthfully, based on all those reviews, I would have never thought that the place was how it is. Like it's way better than I had expected. Um, in terms of customer service, that has been great. There's only one person who will never be. I'm not gonna make her um, taint my whole review on their customer service. I won't do that. But overall, the customer service is good. The food is also good. It can eat, and like some of the meals are actually really, really good. Um, just to point out how they do their meals, they're all inclusive and you have, you, have, you have specific times for breakfast, lunch and dinner. How they do it is a buffet style but it's not really a true buffet because you're not the one that's sharing all the food. That's one thing I never really like. They have some servers who will serve enough food for you and some of them who are not some. There was one person saying with whom said the consumption it was bad. Like she was very her demeanor was bad and very stingy with food. So that's the downside. So if you don't have a good servo that's sharing what you food, then you might not get a lot. It's all inclusive, so you can go back for more. But with that little demeanor, I just never want to go back for more because why you doing that? I mean food too, but what is can I say the bad vibes? Breakfast is from eight to ten, lunch is from twelve to two thirty, and dinner is from eight to ten. My only problem with this whole arrangement is the fact that dinner is from 8 to 10. The last time you feed people is at 2 30, and then you're gonna have, you know, what, six hours later? By 6 o'clock, my belly are rolling you know, I'm hungry, girl, hungry. Forget me. So, like, it's like by then, I'm like super, super hungry. So, I didn't like the fact that there weren't all inclusive things that I could get in between. Um, I, I would have seen that, that there are things there that you might have to pay for, but the all inclusive times would have been the 8 to 10, 12, 12 to 2 30, and 8 to 10 again. So there is that, but the food in itself was good though. Um, in terms of what else? Location, it's very easy for you to find. Put it, on, put it on Google Maps and you're good to go. The room was nice as well. Air conditioned with a very big bed, TV. Um, the room was kind of spacious. That kind of could be. So the bed took up most of it, but still have like a space to it. And you have an outside balcony where you have a nice view. And apart from that, when you come here, you're also able to use the beach, Journey's Beach, that's maybe like 10 minutes from the compound. Um, yeah, and there is a shop for leaving from Samsara to go to that beach to the in the morning. But yeah, so here in the, this video, I have no idea what the next vlog will be about. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.